Hello YouTube, Zippo Enthusiast Down Under here, bringing you guys a uh, another video today. We're just going to be looking at what is the real difference between a regular Zippo and a Zippo Armor case. So, I haven't got the box for this one with me. Um, I'm actually using this one at the moment, it has got fuel in it. And it's just a uh, brushed brass, April of 21. And here I've got the armor case. It's actually got a upside down stamp. And it is a November of 20. So, Here's what it says in the box. The uh, armor stamp authenticates it as heavy walled and the case is about 1.5 times as thick as a standard. So let's have a closer look at these two here. Now, um, they're the same size roughly pretty much the same size actually it does look a little bit taller but if it has got a thicker case I suppose it's that little amount it also is a little bit wider but it still utilizes the exact same hinge so I'm going to be measuring these and weighing them without the inserts because we're just looking at the case here. So first of all, this is just the standard one. See, it doesn't have the uh, the armor logo, which is down on the bottom right there. And they're both the same, the brushed brass. Uh, I didn't want to use a chrome versus a brass or use any chrome at all because there's a plating on the brass. Whereas these are just brass, there's no anything added to the uh, outside layer of the case. So we'll get into it. Here I've got a uh, set of digital verniers. And just to confirm, standard case, pull the insert out. Now, we'll just measure. half a millimeter All right that's the side of the lower portion of the case and we'll also see if the lid's the same 0 0.43 0 0.48 let's just check the other side Four eight. All right, so that's the standard one. Now let's check out the armor. So let's just say it's half a millimeter, right? We'd be looking at 0.75 of a mil or three quarters of a millimeter here for this one, for it to be what it says an extra 50% thicker or one and a half times thicker it's not quite it does fall a little bit short by about 0 0.1 of a mil guess there's just a bit of inconsistency because that's a bit closer there it's about 0 0.04 short. We'll see if they've done the same with the lid here. 0.72. Mind you, they didn't say it's exactly one and a half times. They did say it's about. 
Okay, so one side does seem to be a bit thinner. But it is pretty, pretty close to what they're saying it is. So uh, the next step here is, now mind you, I've got both of the inserts out. Just because one of them's got fuel. Um, we're just looking at the case, so we'll keep them separated. And here I've got a scale. So, because they, they do claim that it's it's heavy, you know, like, and it, it does feel a bit heavier, but let's find out by exactly how much. So 27 grams for a standard case. <clears throat> And 38 grams for the armor case. So, if you've been uh, thinking about getting one or the other, there are there is a difference. Um, I didn't buy these from the Zippo Australia website. I actually got a really good deal on both of them from um, the Nile.com.au and they're seriously discounted compared to the Zippo website. And uh, sorry, this one here was actually supposed to be my replacement for the one that's got the girl on the front, the brushed brass one of the, uh, the blonde girl on the front. And unfortunately, they weren't able to source one of them for me. Like, I don't know where they get them from. When I asked them, they said they get them from a local distributor. I assumed it was Zippo Australia, but it mustn't be because I did order one from one of those ones from Zippo Australia after I found out that the Nile couldn't get one of these or one of them for me. That actually sent me this. As soon as I rang them and said, you know, there's been a little bit of a, an error here, because this one did come separately from the, the batch of five lighters that I purchased together. I got four. Um, they actually refunded me my money, which was $36 for, you know, this. This actually was worth $2 more than the one with the image on the front. But they refunded me what I paid and they said I can keep the lighter. So that's pretty good. If they do stuff up, you know, you can't really go wrong with that. And I got this from them, and I think this was about 43 so it is a little bit more money. You are getting a bit more material with it. You are getting that little armor logo if that's something you're interested in, or if you just want to add something to your collection. It has got a little bit more weight to it, but, you know, it's not much. I'll just show you this again. 27 grams, 38 grams, 39 grams, 11 or 12 grams difference. That's like, it's not a great deal. So, and like, as we saw with the measurements with the verniers, the thickness is pretty inconsistent on both of them. So that's all I really got for this one, guys. I just thought I'd do a little bit of a, uh, detailed review comparing the two now of course if you've got one that's got any sort of plating on it you are going to have different results because it's the same the same case either either like whether you get a chrome standard and a chrome armor but it's got an added plating surface on top so it will be thicker and it will be a little bit heavier potentially but yeah that's about as far as we can go into it with them now, I am also going to be doing a review on these over the coming months to find out if that little bit of extra weight is going to affect that hinge from wearing out any quicker than a standard one. So if you guys can wait for that, if you're trying to make your mind up on which one you want to buy, like uh, this one probably will survive drops. Like they'll both survive being dropped, but this one will hold up to it a little bit better just because it's thicker and like 
that little bit of extra thickness in it, it's it's actually a fair bit stronger. So like, I can't really squeeze that in with one hand, but I can with this and like my left hand and I'm right-handed. So if that makes any, any difference to you guys. But yeah, that's all I've got for that one. Make sure if you liked the video, if you found it informative, leave a thumbs up. Any comments and suggestions, I uh, definitely will get back to everyone. And uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to catch any of the upcoming videos. I've got a lot of stuff coming out soon. Um, a lot of unboxings, a few different little tests on stuff like that. Um, so yeah, guys, don't miss out. Make sure you subscribe, get the notifications, be the first ones to watch it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.